Good day, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Nimble Flyer. After arriving at Hongqiao Railway Station, I then proceeded to take an airport shuttle to Pudong International Airport. Bus first stopped at Terminal One of Pudong International Airport. Then it stopped at Terminal Two of Pudong International Airport. International departures. There was a security inspection at the entrance of the terminal. Let's do some plane boarding. Inside the terminal. Flights of that day. When I went to the check-in counter, the counter hadn't opened yet, so I waited for around thirty minutes. Finally, the check-in started. Check-in was done, so let's go to the gate. The entrance to international departure was under refurbishment at that time. After immigration and security inspections, I first went to the Sunrise Duty Free store to purchase some skincare products for my friend Alice. I purchased a single-use priority pass and Taobao for 125 RMB, around 25.5 Australian dollars, before travel. Then I proceeded to China Eastern Number 77 Lounge. Staff at the reception checked my e-voucher. I hadn't had my lunch yet, so I went straight to the buffet area. Here you could find some sandwiches as well as some pastries. Chilled soft drinks, milk, sparkling water, mineral water, as well as beer could be found inside the fridge. For the main course, you could choose one of three airlines' signature noodles. You could choose your own toppings for your noodles, including Chinese pickles with sliced pork, vegetarian chicken, as well as minced pork. A range of tea bags and freshly brewed coffee were available. Here is a salad bar. For the soups, the only option was corn soup with chicken. In terms of flavor, hmm. At the other side of the lounge, you could find a wide variety of alcoholic beverages. You could also find lemonade, apple juice, and orange juice inside these glass vats. Some hot dishes were available. The lounge provides ample seats and it's well maintained. It's a semi-open space lounge, so lighting isn't a problem. Local newspapers and a newspaper in a foreign language were provided. Wow. 
Showers were available on request. You needed to give your boarding pass to the staff, then she would open the door to the shower for you. The shower room was big, clean, and well equipped. The water supply was stable and strong. A nice play to get myself refreshed before flight. After my shower, it was time for boarding. Gate 67. It was a bit far away from the launch. I then took the escalator downstairs. Sported Avina Airlines Airbus A350, which operated as flight VN531 to Hanoi. Our flight was operated by a four-year-old Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner with registration number VN8863. Only Vietnamese newspaper was available. Passed through premium economy class cabin. The flight was almost full. Most of the passengers were Chinese tourists heading to Vietnam for holidays. Hair tower was downgraded to a disposable wipe. Sported an American Airlines Boeing 787-9 next to us. Pilot made the cabin announcement to let passengers informed. Inside seat pocket, you could find the magazine of the airlines. An air sickness bag. To cater the needs of Chinese customers, a Chinese magazine was also provided. A duty-free shopping catalog. An in-flight entertainment system menu. Safety demonstration video was played. Due to the torrential rain, many flights were delayed, so did we. The flight waited for around 45 minutes before it was the turn for taking off.
the seat pitch was 32 inches. It was sufficient for long haul flight. After the plane had reached the cruising altitude, lunch was served. I opted for stir fried black pepper beef noodle with veggies. When the lunch was served, it was around 3.30 in the afternoon. Should I call it lunch or afternoon tea? I also got myself a cup of orange juice. Vienna Airlines, please, please pay attention to the maintenance. How dirty the cabin was. Look at this broken switch. Pay attention to the details, please. It was a smooth flight, so I could hardly feel any turbulence. Flight attendants provided water to passengers after the meal service on a regular basis. After three and a half hours flight, plane started its descent into Ho Chi Minh City Tan Son Nan International Airport. Let's conclude this flight right here, right now. The check-in desk opened quite light, which made passengers in a hurry. Boarding was organized and it was efficient. Plane wasn't well maintained. Many dirty sports could be sported. Meal was great, fresh ingredients and properly prepared. Flight attendants actively served the passengers during the flight and they were approachable. Another thing to be noticed, the lavatory was badly maintained. Vienna Airlines knows its business for the most part, but there are still rooms for improvements. Disembarkation. Plane parked at a remote stand. Although it was already in the evening, I could still feel the humidity. Shuttle bus will take passengers to the international arrival area. International arrival. Thanks for watching. Coming next, Vietnam Airlines VN781 Economy Class Review, Ho Chi Minh City to Melbourne.